Now nah, haters corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh. So I am stuck with a crazy cold. Um, it's deep. I can't even lie to you. So this is my life. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to film a new in beauty. Um, last week when I was out in Durban, I got quite a bit of new stuff, new makeup, which is always so exciting. So that's what I'm going to do this video around. And it's all pretty much high end and I don't feel bad because it's my birthday tomorrow. So you can also maybe call this a slaytorial, but I don't want to double as that because, oh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um... No new brow products. I just washed my makeup brushes yesterday and I feel like they're not fully dry. Um, oh no, I do have new brow products. I do. I have some Dior brow products. Um, but that's just like a setting, a setting product for my brows. So I'm going to take my MAC dip brow and just fill in my brows I need to tweeze really badly but I'm gonna do that like tomorrow morning obviously not gonna be working tomorrow but I I have an event that I'm attending um, with Chanel so that for me is definitely worth it and we're going to the my favorite hotel Beaumont Mount Nelson and we're gonna have some cake and some bubbles. So that's really not a bad way to spend my afternoon. And then of course I'm gonna have dinner with my family in the evening. And then on Wednesday is when I'm gonna have a party, um, which I haven't done in years. Um, I'm doing it on Wednesday because my birthday is on a Tuesday. It's such a weird and awkward day. Don't have a choice. And no one is willing to go to this other place that I like that's open on a Tuesday, even though it's my birthday. It's about what other people will enjoy, apparently. So, or whatever. I really felt like I really wanted to do something this year because I haven't done anything in a long time. I'm always just like at home, with Bay, like just going for dinner, just him and him and him like really not doing anything and I don't regret it like that those were my that's how I felt those years like that's what I wanted to do like I didn't want to do anything like that was just my mood but this year like my mood was just to like go and have fun okay to prep my skin I don't have a new primer do I, do I, do I, do I? Have a new primer. I don't have a new primer. Um, I'm just going to go for one that's moisturizing. So I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I just don't need any faff. I just want something that's going to moisturize my skin. It's winter, and as you can see, I have the flu. So my skin feels just dry. I just want something moisturizing on my skin. And it's a really nice consistency. It's light enough to work as a primer, but you still feel that moisture kicking into the skin. For foundation, I'm not using a new product, um, but I did get sent a bunch of stuff from Lancome. Um, they sent me the wrong foundation shade, so I'm just taking out my regular foundation shade, um, which is 10.2. It's the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. Um, I'll be using this today. I haven't used this in a while. Um, I did a video, I did a review on this foundation ages ago. So I'm sure there'll be a card up at the top just linking me to that review. Um, since then, they have come up with new shades. My brushes are still a bit wet. And I'm taking, I'm using my Sigma F80. Let's see what it's called. Yeah. Sigma F80 and applying this. Um, the Lancome foundation is, if I can, I'm trying to remember. Very lightweight. Feels 
like skin and to me is medium buildable coverage so there are definitely more fuller foundations out there that give me more coverage on the first sort of like layer so um, with this foundation I may go in with a second layer so as I add now I can still see some of my chicken pox scarring and some freckles on my nose so I'm gonna just double up that layer not too much just going in with like one and a half pumps I really wanted to use this foundation because I'm using two, I'm using a new concealer from Lancome and it's the Tainty Doll Ultra Wet Camouflage Concealers. I have two shades, I have 11 and 13, no, I have 420 and 510, sorry. Wait, it describes it as an Ultra Wet High Coverage Concealer, that's what it is described as. So I'm going to take this, isn't this like a tube? So I'm going to take this. I'm gonna need my eye area. Oh, let's just see with one. Oh shit, that is very high coverage. Oh god, that is super high coverage. The method didn't work of applying the same as it's like starkly. That could have been enough for both of my under eyes, quite honestly. So I'm gonna take up a little bit. Okay, I put on significantly less on the back of my hand, and as you can see, that is more than enough to take me up there. I don't think this is a good shade for me in terms of my under eye. It's a bit light, not a bit light, it's very light. We can definitely work around it. Sometimes with press drops, they're sort of like guessing your your shades. So they'll generally send like two or three of that product in varying shades. I think I'm gonna also contour with this concealer so it's really smooth. It's very smooth and airbrushed. So I'm going to take 510, which is also called Muscade, and I'm going to see if I can contour with this. It's not going to work as my contour because the it literally looks like my skin tone, which is fine. I'm going to just try and... Bring myself back to life. It's insane. I wasn't expecting that. I said full coverage. No, it's high coverage, not full coverage. It's high coverage. I've got you. I do have a a new loose powder from Lancome, but it's in the shade deep, um, which I don't think I can necessarily set underneath my eye with so i'm going to set my under eye with i'm going to set my eye under eye with some elizabeth arden and i'm gonna be too hard i just want to set the surface and move i'm very shook by this concealer it's really very high coverage very flawless i'm going to take the lancome um what is it lancome tainty doll is it tainty doll just says lancome long time no shine loose setting and mattifying powder and this is what it looks like i love the packaging so nice this looks like a contour powder. That is a contour powder. It is really dark. It's quite dark. So I'm going to use this to contour with. I'm going to set my face with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder. I don't think I've used this before. It's going to set. 
If you ever really didn't apply the, um, the Elizabeth Arden, also just setting my brows. I like to set my brows because they can be a little bit shiny. And then I'm going to take that Lancome loose powder. You generally don't use a loose powder to... But I'm going to do that today. Let's go ahead and do our eyes. I have so many new eye products from Dior. Um, gorgeous eyeshadows. I think I'm going to mix up like two palettes. These are called the Christian Dior trio bleak three color eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna go in with this one that's called coral canvas and i'm gonna go in with the dark brown i feel like i always like bigger palettes because it's also very rare that compacts will have all the shades i need very pigmented and pretty and little to no fallout which is nice do we all do like a Subtle smoky eye. I'm gonna take the color again and take it underneath on my lower lash line. For mascara, I have this new one from Chanel. Um, I'm just coating my lashes. Oh shit. I have a new eyelash curler from Chanel. To be fair, like I don't use eyelash curlers because I feel like you need lashes to use an eyelash curler. So I haven't used the eyelash curler on this side and I use it on this side. I think you do it like multiple times, right? Like one, two, three. So we're gonna see if there's a difference. I feel like my lashes already like curl upwards, but I guess this one really makes them curl upwards. I do have a dual highlighter, but it's not new, so I think I'm just going to take my Glam Glow. Highlighter. I love the packaging so much. So cute. So I'm taking the outer one, which is has sexy written on it. Let me finish off my brows um, with some Dior pumping brow like the benefit gimme brow that sort of product let's go for the one that's called <coughs> dark brown and i'm just gonna comb alrighty lips my lips today are from avon actually i got these last week as well i haven't tried avon lipsticks I'm gonna try and find a nude. There's one here called Our Natural. This is packaging. Looks cute. And that is lipstick. I think it might be a little bit light. It's actually pretty. I like it, but. Um, I think I need, wait, let me try another one, let's try another one called Marvelous Mocha, so let's Okay, wait, let me go over this marvelous smoker for the first time I tried. I'm gonna take my MAC raisin, which I have not used in ages, and just add some color. I 
don't have this picky with lipsticks. I should just do what should I do with my lips? Oh, my little gloss. I always do. I'm wearing white and I didn't get makeup on my top. I shouldn't have said that because now I've changed myself. To set everything, I'm taking this new product from Lancome. It's the, what is it called? Fix it, forget it. Up to 24 hour makeup setting mist with plant extracts. I haven't used this. I haven't used anything in this actually. So this, you guys, is my finished look. Let me check my first. Yeah. <laughs> so this, you guys, is my finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I'm gonna see in the comments. Oh my god, everything must be so expensive. I'm not gonna do the side panel of the prices just because Dior doesn't have an online place locally that I can look for prices and. I can't so I might as well just not do for all of them but I will leave links down below to the exact products. Chanel is available at Edgar's and Woolies. Avon, how do you even purchase Avon? Like Avon, I feel like it's consultants. I don't know how you can purchase Avon. Maybe you can purchase online once again when I find out. I'll leave that down below. Other stuff I think you guys know of use before but like I said I will have those down below <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm not doing a birthday slay for real like i always do but i will be vlogging my birthday week as sick as i am i'm not gonna let this get me down so um yeah i hope you like this video be sure to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon bye Paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress I'm so possessive so I rock his rock necklaces My daddy Alabama, mama Louisiana You mix that Negro with that Creole, make the Texas Bama Oh, I like my baby